Okay, and now the last one, which of course is also one of my favorites. Uh, empty building meets creative win-win. Because there are so many empty buildings all over the planet and, and, and hardened fronts between landlords and squatters, homeless people freezing to death on the streets, hello, and creative projects potentially bringing hope to whole despaired neighborhoods. Like with so many situations, the solutions are there, but they have to be wanted and and then actively brought in by radically different choices. The playground brings empty building meets creative win-win solutions that allow derelict buildings to be developed under legally binding conditions so that everyone benefits. Yeah? The landlord gets the building maintained, developed and secured. The surrounding community gets added value through creative enterprises that have a participatory, a participatory edge to them and for an agreed period of time or indefinite the creative enterprise gets a physical location to start blossoming completely freed of the survival struggle. The idea is to set the actual building up as an art piece in itself to do it up in a crafted, artistically skilled manner that beautifies the space. Initiates right from the start a communal spirit by everyone bringing themselves hands-on into the actual physical building of the playground, while at the same time enhancing its functionality. I have for years and years now built the entire interior of my various flats from stuff that I would find on streets score from dumping grounds or have donated from actual factories and shops. It's true and everyone always loved my flats. Uh, the reuse, reduce, recycle principles are like the deep ecology movement, the festival culture and the raw food revolution. All indicators that we are beginning as a species to really be part of the cosmos rather than imposing our, our narcissist, consumerist, greed perspective upon it. The scrap house, which you will find a button to on my website, right under this paragraph, yeah, empty building meets creative win-win. The scrap house, uh, an entire house built from so-called waste, is a living example of how much fun it is to actually care. This is really worth having a look at that. It's, an inc it's incredible what they've done. The physical playground space will serve as a permanent exhibition space, a living, breathing entity that can effectively promote and sell all its handmade, self-produced goodies and the workshops in which you learn the corresponding skill on permanent display. Yeah. Another profound inspiration how this can be put into practice is De Meneur. And if you haven't heard about this Italian community, really go to my website or Google it, you know, like, and um, have a look at that. Because this is really, I, I wrote here, the pioneering Italian community, especially with their mind-blowing hand-built temples of humanity, mind-blowing, really. Have a look what's possible. When people create a space that is actually like handcrafted beauty because beauty enhances our sense of well-being and yeah both of these like the scrap house and the temples um, of humanity in this Italian community de Menea, are really worth checking out okay that was it that was it and um, of course I mean like needless to say that I have Massive documentation, a thorough business plan, which is where now? No, I'm gonna have to do another video on that. Oh.